Attention. Central. This is Sheriff Daniel Stahlmutza. I'm reaching out to the 111th Police Precinct in New York City, Queens County. I'm currently on the um, Cross Island Parkway heading west alongside Clearview Park Golf Course. Notifying all available patrols to investigate the area. Um, due to a swarm of insects causing significant traffic congestion. I repeat, it's a swarm causing traffic difficulties and hovering above us. Additionally, I request heightened attention at the call center as there have been reports of what they're calling giant... What? Giant moss. I'm not sure if it's some kind of code word for a terrorist act, a gang activity, or whatever, but uh, I'm urging extreme caution. Protocol 42 should be implemented under official orders to maintain the situation. I repeat, giant moths have been reported. I repeat, these are civilians words. Keep us informed of the situation. During the following week, a vast number of moth swarms were sighted in Queens County, displaying high aggression upon contact with human skin. In response to the authorities' decisions to hire pest control and extermination teams, three workers were severely injured. Subsequent hospital reports documented burns that turned the skin gelatinous and in the most extreme case transformed one of the worker's limbs into an inexplicable appendage with tentacle-like features, covered in hair as tough as a nail. On April 11, the New York City police unexpectedly closed the vicinity of Alley Pond Park, due to a notice from the State Health Service. City biological risk agents swiftly entered the area following the sudden appearance of peculiar bodies. According to reports from the previous night, these bodies had been perched on the trees and began falling during the early morning hours. In eyewitness accounts from park neighbors, they observed these strange creatures writhing on the ground as if experiencing some form of epileptic seizure. I was walking my little pup with my boyfriend last night. Everything was chill. You know, traffic always crazy around here. But suddenly, my dog got all alert, barking like crazy at the top of a tree. Tried to see what it was, and then that thing fell loudly to the ground, and the dogs got so spooked. Never seen an animal run away so desperately before. When the emergency
emergency biological response team took the fallen creatures in the park. They were brought to the underground labs of the Federal Military Hospital for study. The strange bodies seemed to be some kind of moth malformation, with extensive tentacles that, despite being confirmed as lifeless, continued to move with the intention of protecting the main body mass. Apparently, these creatures had been biologically programmed to safeguard their most vital organs. However, the nature of these didn't appear to be a mere mutation. It possibly resulted from a failed experiment in crossbreeding genetically incompatible species. This theory gained momentum until it was realized that all of them shared the same human vital systems within. In fact, these bodies were an insectoid amalgamation of human beings, possibly operating on a hive mind were all simultaneously obeyed. This would explain why the majority fell from the trees at the same time, and why their actions were precisely synchronized. With each in-depth study of these creatures, the revelations became increasingly spine-chilling. It was covered that those tentacles were, in reality, hyperdeveloped dendrites of human neurons. Something had caused the human nervous system to merge with an insectoid body, creating a kind of intelligent creature, but with severe survival challenges. Both oxygen and certain pollutants produced by industries and transportation severely weakened them. The most astonishing case was the study of a part of a human head, which, in just two days, began to transform into an elongated mass that occupied the entire size of an operating room.